Alright, so when it comes to installing your drive, just going to make sure, again, things are set to open. Again, we already talked about that. Open. We already moved our grill out of the way. They were so smart, again, to put two layers of uh, keep dust out of it, especially for those that like negative pressure in their case. Again, take it. Let it go on in there. Push it in there gently. Let it be about flush. Go on and hit it to lock. And then you may need to wiggle it a little bit back or forth. Or you may have just gotten it like I just did on the first try, which is cool. But um, just make sure it's in there good and you're fine. So there you go for putting that player in. So let's go grab. Hard drives. A two terabyte drive. I'm going to go on top. There are locking pins on both sides, so do keep that in mind. Repeat the same process for the bottom. Alright. So now I've got my hard drives in place. I'll go on and lay down my RAM. That's pretty. Fragtastic. If you, as usual, look carefully, you'll notice that the... Alright, there's a little indentation. You can see it. Alright, it's right there. It's closer to the right side than it is to the left. Go on and also open up your locking chucks, if you want to call them that. Take your round. Down. If you push in one corner at a time, it'll go on and lock down automatically. Be careful. Listen to your machine. Again, you know what you did put in and what you did not. As far as you don't want to push too hard, especially if you didn't put in very many screws, like this motherboard didn't have me putting in that many. Alright, I've got four chips, so I'm going to put in the other two. But I want to put in a fan up there. I'm going to go on and do that before I put too much. It's going to be an exhaust fan. When you are installing a fan on the case of your computer, if you rotate the fan around, you should see indicator arrows which show you the direction of airflow as well as the direction of the rotation of the fan. Keep in mind the amount of fans that you have blowing in. Alright, um, I only have this one intake fan. And the power supply is going to be pulling in. This is going to be pulling in. This is going to be blowing out. 
So I need to have probably one more in so that it can balance out. But you can always double check. And remember, you'll have this bringing in cool air, quote unquote, from the bottom of the case. And that can come up, and that'll be nice. So the logic with putting the last fan in here, the air will come in, in through the front. It's going to get sucked all that. Some of it's going that way, and the other will get taken out as well. So it'll be a nice kind of a, at least as they say, that is the goal. So what it looks like, line up your hole, put it through, alright you'll see it, pull it, pull it, pull it, Don't forget to put your power back, otherwise you'll be wondering, oh god, what's wrong? I'm going to show you what's kind of happening here. I don't want to bend up everything. I just want this to come out the way it's made to come out. So if you notice, it's not attached at the bottom. Usually just two bends and that's enough. Right there, front panel. And so again, note the changes. You link up everything properly. It's in like a charm. Lock it down, screw it in. Don't over tighten. See how that's right over that? I would hate if some kind of way and test. I know that'd be random as hell, but look. Note where stuff is. Do you see how this loose cord is just hanging right over this intake fan for this power supply? I would really hate if that went in there. So, be smart. Get it out of the freaking way. Be smart. I'm pretty sure I was going to make fun and be like, hey, pretty sure you don't want plastic film on the inside of your case. But anyway, that is pretty. Definitely. Pretty fine. So, I'm going to need two knockouts for this one. Definitely cannot go, all right, right at the PCIe that's right above the card, sound card that is. So, it's going to have to go here. So, it's going to need the top two, okay. Going to need these top two knocked out. Knockouts knocked out. So, let's get to doing that. tight. Alright, now one of these is useful, which would be the six pin. The 
tuck this other one back down here out of the way. So now I can start to neat, neaten things up, make all of these cords or whatever, kind of pull them, now that I have stuff in there, kind of get them out of the way. Alright, remember, don't pull them too tight, because they are at an angle. But, um... Just be cautious, take your time. Alright, so up here you've got your SATA connectors. One is for data and the other is for the power. So I'm going to run the ones from farthest away from the power supply first. So start up here and then work my way down to 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, and run it back to here. Anyway, down here you can see where you have your SATA ports and then these over here weird angle I turn to the side but there are three and four and then five and six so anyway let's get the plugging up Last but not least, um, got a bunch of fans that need to be plugged up. Clearly, I changed my CPU cooler. The one that I had was very loud, so I can achieve the same amount of cooling with uh, a bigger fan. So anyway, I've got these little extenders for your 4-pin Molex connectors. Those look like these, by the way. Now we're good. We have power, signal. That's plugged in, that's plugged in. Those are down there secure. So after everything was installed physically as well as installed software and driver wise I wanted to take a screenshot to let you see just how nice it is to build your own PC and what capabilities you would have. I do want to let you know that I'm using old hard drives but if I had gotten a new hard drive then it would have been rather awesome. I think the spin rate on the one I'm using is only about 5400 RPMs as opposed to the 7200 RPM one which you can buy. So anyway, just showing you again, you can really do some great things for not a lot of money. I was able to build this PC for $700. So to build a PC for 700 bucks with that quality is rather amazing. God's blessings. This has been Charles Edgar Hampton on behalf of the Variety Tube channel showing you how to make a custom gaming PC.
So folks, God bless. Happy gaming and frag on.